It's the girl Ava Levin and welcome to another travel vlog. Hey! Back here in Manila, Philippines, but unfortunately, I'm only here for 12 hours. Two days a day, I'm flying from Manila to Mexico City. I booked a one-way ticket from Manila to Mexico City about a week ago. It's because I don't have any work in this upcoming two months. So I might be staying there for two months. I don't know, whatever floats my boat. I'm pretty excited, but at the same time, I'm scared because it is quite far from Manila, Philippines. Mexico is such a big country and let's see if I can explore it within two months or maybe who knows maybe I'll travel to other neighboring countries in two months Check in sa akin <laughs> lang. See you in Mexico Ang popogi naman ng mga ano dito, mga staff, mabayan. <laughs> Every time I book an international flight ticket, I always forget to pay for the travel tax. So, here I am again, about to pay the travel tax. This is what I have to pay every time I leave the country. Just pass through security and there's not much people in the airport today and I've never experienced that. It's actually my first time. from Manila to Tokyo got delayed for about 30 to 45 minutes also there's a one hour time difference from the Philippines to Japan Japan is one hour ahead from the Philippines it's currently 3 59 in the afternoon and my boarding time is in 15 minutes and it's on the other side of this hallway or at this air of this airport rather okay, by the way this is my solo travel from Manila to Mexico without a Mexican visa plus I only have a one-way ticket to Mexico so wish me luck this is my first time to do this actually I'm pretty excited but at the same time I'm scared so Okay, 59A, let's go! <sighs> Alright you guys, I made it. Some passengers are already starting to board, but as for me, I like to board late. Or at the end, I dislike local flights, but here I am. I still do it. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, we have landed at Benito Juarez International Airport. The local time in Mexico City is 3.06 p.m., October 23rd. Please remain seated with your seat belt securely fastened until the captain turns off the seat belt sign. here in my Airbnb in Mexico City and as we all know in every travel vlog there's always a room tour <laughs> this is the living room I love how open it is and bright this is the view and this is the dining area I also ordered some food because your girl is super hungry and over here is my bedroom that's my bed there's the tv there's my bra sorry <laughs> the city view i don't know what that is yet but i'll find out soon and this is the bathroom this is where I will be staying for a week. Oh, by the way, I do have an Airbnb discount. I always put it on the description box below. So just click the link below to get, I think, up to 40% off from your booking. Not sponsored. Hello, say hi to the vlog. Hi, <laughs> <My> vlog. <laughs> Thank you, Bebe. I'm so used to being ahead of you, like in time zone. I just woke up from a nap. I slept for four or five hours because I wasn't feeling well. I'll just message you later or I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Just remember to send her the video so we're good. Yeah, I will send it now. I'm just gonna eat. Bye bye. <laughs> Bye. So tomorrow, which is actually today, it's already 2.18 in the morning. Mind you that the Philippines is 11 hours ahead from Mexico. Bon appétit. I am editing this travel vlog so that I can post it tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will discuss to you guys about going to Mexico without a Mexican visa, how I entered, and I only have a one-way ticket. So I'll talk to you guys more about that tomorrow when I feel 100%, hopefully. See you guys tomorrow. I, yesterday I slept from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. and then after that can't sleep, started working, edited the vlog, published the vlog, posted a photo, responded to comments, answers and emails so I'm just gonna get ready, maybe brush my teeth and wash my face just to have breakfast <laughs> I had to cut this from a bottle of water and make it as a double. <laughs> Life hacks. You guys, I just realized something that I love the color green so much. Look at this. <laughs> Green eco bag, green shoes, green sweater, 
I heard there's a really good restaurant nearby, which is like a three hour, oh, three, wow, that's far. Three minutes to walk, so let's go there first, shall we? Vamonos. Vamonos. This elevator looks shady. Mm, do I really want to go? Yep. Mm. Oh, I love this neighborhood. It's a little bit chilly, but it's alright. It's currently 11 in the morning, I think. Oh, this looks nice. So, um, I. I'm walking to a restaurant called Lardos. It's just like a three minute walk from my Airbnb. Okay, I need to cross the street. Look, you guys, I blend in perfectly. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm in Mexico. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe. It's just starting to sink in right now because yesterday I wasn't really feeling well when I got to the airport. It's called Lardo. neighborhood somehow reminds me of Barcelona for some reason so also a lot of shops it's a nice neighborhood uh, can't believe I'm in Mexico I'm back here in my Airbnb. Now the time has come. How in the world I got through immigration with no Mexican visa and only a one-way ticket to Mexico. I am a Philippine passport holder, a Filipino citizen. Now there are actually three ways for Filipinos to get to Mexico. Number one, apply for a Mexican visa. I am not pretty sure about the requirements, but you can always ask or Google it out. Sorry. Number two, you have to have a US visa. I don't have a US visa. Number three, and this is how I got into Mexico. I have a multiple entry Japan visa. Yes, that's right. I didn't know that it actually exist. If you have a multiple entry Japan visa, you are eligible to go to Mexico without a US visa or even without a Mexican visa. The only thing is the flight from Manila, Philippines to Mexico are expensive. And you cannot go through US, not unless you have a US visa or China, not unless you apply for a Chinese transit visa. So in my case, the best option was to book a ticket from Japan to Mexico. I think I paid 1,200 US dollars for a one-way ticket. This is actually the most expensive flight ticket I've ever bought. That's why I was like, okay, I'm just gonna book a one-way ticket because it's too expensive. While I was still in the Philippines, the guy who checked me in asked me, is this the only visa that you have? Yes, I only have a Japan visa and that's okay, right? And he's like, yeah, it's, you can go to Mexico with a Japan visa. And it's like, okay, cool. After a long haul flight, I landed in Mexico and the immigration officer, I don't think she's aware Filipinos 
with a multiple entry to Japan visa are actually eligible to visit Mexico. So I was like at the immigration for maybe like 15 minutes. So I got through. Oh my god, I am in a new country. Hey. But I was still dizzy, found a money changer, and that was actually a really bad idea. I should have withdrawn money instead. Don't go to money changers in Mexico airport. Oh, Uber here works really well. Uber eats as well. So this is not sponsored. I have an Airbnb discount code under the description box. If you guys are planning to stay here, probably go for Roma area or La Condesa. So I guess that's about it. I would recommend for you guys to check in. Yeah, it's pretty noisy here. Well, I was trying to sleep last night. The sirens here are nonstop. This Airbnb is so nice. It's just too bright and there's not a lot of curtains. So my privacy is not that great. I guess that's about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask away on the comment section. I haven't actually explored the city that much because I'm still jet lag, I'm still nauseous. Hopefully I will feel better soon. Maybe it's just a migraine. I hope you like my solo travel from Manila to Mexico with no Mexican visa and only one-way ticket vlog. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment below which part of this vlog is your favorite and if you guys have any suggestions where I should go, where I should eat, where if you're from Mexico City, please feel Please feel free to send me a DM uh, or an email if you guys are here. I would love to get to know my Mexican viewers. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next travel vlog. Bye! Peace.